Alright guys, Strogdar here again, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today I have for you a fixed version of the waterfall door that I had. Uh, it broke in 15.3 or 4, whichever one had the update where the dust gets directed towards pistons. That broke the double piston extender on it, so I had to fix it. Anyways, it has no new features. It still opens up the same and everything. Press the button. You got a double piston extender that actually splits the waterfall. We have a single piston extender up there to make sure that the waterfall or the double piston extender has enough time to extend before the waterfall hits it. And then we have our pathway that pops up through the water and our Jeb door that uh, opens up. And from the back side we have pistons right there so it would close up. You would obviously have a wall up back here but you won't be able to see the back of the pistons from this side so yeah that's basically all it does it does go smooth and uh, yeah so let's get on with the tutorial guys okay guys so I'm gonna start out with a six by seven hole that's three deep some of this you won't actually have to dig up, but it's just easier to move around in and to display the tutorial with so you don't have to watch me dig up stuff. Anyways, what I'm going to start off with is not do that. I'm going to start off by putting in our little pool. So that pool was 3 by 2 so it's going to be like this. That's our pool, so our wall will be back here, but we'll get to that in a minute. So right in the middle of our pool, we're going to take sticky pistons and we're going to place them like that. And that's for our walkway. Then we're going to put the blocks that are going to be the bottom of our pool right there. And then we're going to just finish that up with a couple more blocks over there. Now we'll put the water in at the very end. So the wall's going to be right here. So let's build that up. And there's our doorway right there. And we'll put the door in here in a second. Let's go ahead and put in our T flip flop first so I can get some stuff out of my hot bar. So I'm going to just get rid of these blocks temporarily. We're going to have a half slab right here. Make sure that's a half slab with redstone dust on it. Then we're going to take a dropper, place it face up right there. With a dropper on top of it, facing towards the back. Then we're going to place a hopper down in the bottom dropper. It's facing inwards to it. So you see it's facing towards the dropper then we're going to place an item into the hopper it doesn't really matter what it is then we're going to place a comparator right on top like this and we're going to go ahead and replace our blocks that we had right here and I'm going to place a button here but keep in mind if you want it to activate you can hook anything up to this this dropper right here or this redstone dust and it will act as that button I just put the button there for display purposes anyways now I can pull a few things into my hot bar okay so there you go. Now we can start placing in our door. Now the door is going to go 
right here. And it's going to be half a Jeb door, so we're going to place those right there. Four sticky pistons like that. Then we're going to place two on those facing towards the front. And then our wall block, because that's going to be flush with our wall. And since I like to have the back of the pistons not show when it's closed from the other side, we're going to place another set of pistons right here with whatever you want your door on the other side to look like. Then we're just going to place a floor right there. And we can place in a wall right here. And then a ceiling right there. Now we're going to do the circuitry for this door first. Then we're going to hook it up to the double piston extender and then the single piston extender up at the top and then we'll hook it up to the T flip flop. So first the door. In order to do the door we're going to place a block right there. So just below this middle piston. We're going to place a redstone torch on that. We're going to place blocks on both sides of that torch. Place a block on top of the torch, and then place redstone dust on both of, both of those blocks right there. And that will extend these six pistons, um, but it won't extend the two. We'll get to those probably, actually we can do it quick right now. We'll hook them up to the T flip flop later, but we'll go ahead and do it right now. So in order for this to work, we have to power this block and this block. So to do that, we're going to place a block right there. We're going to place a redstone dust right there. Then we're going to place two blocks right like that. And then we'll place a redstone torch there and a redstone torch there. And we'll hook those up here actually we'll just hook those up first so now we're going to hook all of these up to the T flip flop first so to do that we're going to come here place a block here redstone dust right there then a redstone repeater on four ticks right there a block right there Redstone repeater right there, four ticks. And then we'll put a block right there. You need to put two blocks right there with redstone repeaters on them. Uh, those need to be on one tick. So default delay. Then you put a block in front of this one and then a block down here with redstone dust on it that will power this torch over here. Then we're going to take two blocks and put them up like that. We're going to put redstone dust on both of those. Redstone dust down there. Block here. Block here. A repeater right here on default delay. And then redstone dust right there. And now we just need to hook up these pistons right here to it so this is our input for those pistons so we're going to place a block right there I can still get out and then we're going to place a repeater right there on four ticks delay that should in theory open our door and extend this and then if we Press it again, it should close and retract that. So cool, that's working. So now we need to make a little platform for our double piston extender. So we're gonna not need that block, but we're gonna place half slabs on those and half slabs right there. These ones have to be half slabs, these five, because otherwise it will mess with the pistons down there. 
uh, now that we got those, we'll go ahead and place in our double piston extender or the pistons for them. So two sticky pistons like that. Your wall block there. We'll just go ahead and build this up a little bit. So as you can see, you can't see it from this side, but over here, we're gonna have circuitry for this. So we're gonna place a redstone torch right there. We're gonna place a full block on top of that. We're gonna place a half slab right there. Redstone dust on the side of that. And then we're gonna take two repeaters, place them right like that. Place another one right here. All three of these have to be on four ticks, so maximum delay. Then we're going to take a block and place it here, here, and here. Then we're going to take a repeater, place it right there. That's on one tick, so default delay. And then we're going to place another one right here on four ticks delay. Then we're going to place a dust right there. And that's our double piston extender. So if we press this quick, it will open and it will close. So now we just need the single piston extender for our, uh, so it will redirect the water just for a second. So we're gonna have a platform right here made completely out of half slabs except for one space and I'll show you which space that is this one right here this has to be a full block do not ask me why it shouldn't matter but I actually did this tutorial once before and this was a half slab and this didn't work right and I switched this over to a full block and it worked right so I have no idea why that is so a full block there. And then you can place a half slab there. Then you're gonna place a full block on top of there. So right here. And redstone dust right there. So our single piston extender is gonna be right there, but we're gonna need a decent timing circuit for it. So We'll go ahead and put up our wall there. So for the timing circuit, we're going to place a sticky piston right there with an observer on it facing that way. So the power will go that way. Then we're gonna place a repeater right here. No, right here on three ticks going to place a dust right here and we're going to place another repeater right here on three ticks and you're going to place two dust here then you're going to place a comparator here and another one right here in front of it you're going to take two blocks and place them right here and here with the redstone dust right there then come back this way, we're going to place a redstone dust right here with a comparator right there and a block in front of that comparator. Now what this does is it gives us a different pulse length on the rising edge and falling edge of the, of the system. So this will give us a short pulse right here when this piston extends the observer and then when it retracts the observer it will give us a long pulse right here this is a pulse extender and that powers the piston from over here through this block so now we can place our wall up here and place our water so our water will go just above the block that will get extended, which is right here. And we can go ahead and place in water right here. There you go. So that should be everything. So let's go ahead and give it a little test. If I press it, it opens up just fine. And if I press it again, 
it should close up just fine and this will re or go all the way down before this opens up again cool so yeah that is it for the tutorial guys if you like this build and found this tutorial helpful please leave a like and subscribe it helps out my channel and subscribing you will be able to see my tutorials as they first come out and I will see you guys next time guys have a nice day and bye bye